Okay, just wanted to show a update uh, to my bench. Um, soon as I, I'd never seen one before. First time I saw one, uh, it was one of those things. Oh, I gotta get it. And what that is, it, what actually let me start the story <laughs> at the beginning. Um, of course, this is a test bench, so I'm always hooking up different radios with different audio, different microphones. You know, and it, you need lots of adapters. Now, I've done a previous video on those Mira Mic Mate uh, adapters that I got vast array of microphone adapters um, and now those were older they didn't have the newer ones and especially if you're getting into ham and HF rigs um, didn't have like the eight pin plugs but they they could be modified so I basically now have an adapter for every single radio on the planet everything from the old you know uh, phone jacks to modern plugs um, and you know now the one thing with those is is they use the five pin 30 degree twist locked in on the adapters but like i say they're nice because now i just i can hook up any radio to what well that was the thing i wanted to be able to hook up not just have a microphone i wanted to be able to hook up to my communications test set or an, you know, another external you know uh let's say signal generator or a uh, an eq if i'm using one of you know one of my microphones like one of these. I've got two microphones. I've got this A static and then I have over here I have a turner that I use. Um, you know, but it's I wanted to be able to switch between all of that. And now I had come up with the little switch box, which I did a separate video on that little box right there. And it works great, but still I'm left, you know, plug in, unplug in, plug in, unplug. It still yeah it it made things a little bit easier, but yeah it still wasn't ideal. And then I ran across NCS, uh, stands for, what is it, New Communications Solutions. They used to, unfortunately, they no longer make it. <laughs> um, I, I even contacted them, I was like, please, please, could you please start making these things again? I don't care how much it costs, I have to have one. But uh, yeah, no such luck. But they, may, they used to make a little uh, gadget, a widget, you know, one of those gotta have thingies called the multi-switcher and that's actually now sitting right beside my, my little audio junction box right there and that's it right there now the beauty of this little box is you can hook up basically four audio sources to four separate radios now on the test bench here I'm not you know anytime I see one of these things I'm gonna buy it I don't care how much they cost when I see one I'm gonna get it I don't care if it's five hundred dollars I want them for my radio bench as well. But here at the test bench, it was almost more important to me because like I say, I'm trying to connect, I'm always connecting and disconnecting radios. This way it allows me one cord, I can select, you know, to hook up to a radio, use my microphone adapters, but then I can use a regular hand mic. That's what's hooked up to this jack, just a Turner Road King 70 microphone. Um, if I want to hook up to anything coming out of that audio box there, I can just switch over to audio. But it's just as easy as the push of a button. You know, what's hooked up to what? And then I have, you know, different radios. I can select which radio I want that audio to go to. Um, now, if you're, you see that now and you're thinking, oh God, now I've got to have one of those too. If you're going to get it for your HF rig, for ham or amateur radios, that's great. Um... If you're thinking about getting one for CB radios, stop. <laughs> it, as it sets, it will not work with a CB radio. It will work with some of them, but not all of them. Uh, most CB radios require a microphone to be plugged into them for you to have audio coming out during receive. Um, they switch, you know, there's a, two pins in the microphone plug that are grounded for either receive or transmit. Uh, where ham radios pretty much don't do that. You know, they only need basically three wires, audio, ground, or the shield, and a transmit keying, or the PTT line. They don't have a receive line. So this does not have receive, because it's set up for the standard uh, plugs that are used on ham radios. Now, like I say, they don't use, you know, amateur radios don't usually need a receive uh, switching circuit. Now, you can modify it. 
which is what I did. Because, like I say, I never know what I'm going to be working on exactly. So I added internally inside of this, there's now an additional relay that switches a ground out to my, my cord that uses the Mira Mic Mate adapters. So I have a separate ground with that can then switch between receive and transmit. So it now does work with anything. It doesn't matter how old, how new, what version, CB, ham, amateur radios, marine radios. I can literally hook it up to anything. But, uh, yeah, like I say, it just, man, this, this thing's just going to make life so much simpler. Um, you know, whatever I want to hook up to, you know, I just, just a push of a button, boink, I have different jacks. I've got, and I can also use this, and that's the, the nice thing about this, because I can hook it up to four radios, so now I actually have some of my bench radios. The radios that I have on during the day I'm listening to um, or talking on, you know, it's great if I want to go to the bench. That bench, you know, I've just put a little paper sticker there on some of these. But uh, the one for bench goes down to that cord you just saw. But if I want to listen to, let's say, another radio, well, I can flip over to that radio now, and now I'm using that radio. The other big advantage of this is it also switches received audio. So it has audio inputs, and not just mono, it actually has stereo. It has left and right jacks on the back. So you can hook up one speaker, or two if you're using uh, stereo, but you can hook up a, one, one a, either a single or a pair of speakers to this, and you it has inputs on the back for each radio, one, two, three, and four, so it will also switch the received audio. So you could buy, let's say, one really expensive like DSP speaker, uh, you know, a digital signal processing speaker, and use that with four different radios and never have to touch anything once you hook it up. It's just a matter of selecting which radio you want to use. Again, it was designed for amateur radio. It also has a king, uh, a Mars code key jack on the back. So there's a single single jack on the back you would hook up your key to, and then there are also four more jacks on the back that go out to the uh, Mars code key jack on your radio. So it can switch not only audio, it can also be used for uh, CW. So just a really handy little box. Um, now, right now, I happen to be using it with this black box radio. Yes, yeah, one of those things. Um, I've had this thing on for like two days now, trying to get it to screw up and yeah, it, it just, <laughs> matter of fact, I need to switch back over here to the bench cord. And you can see, that's, and now I'm keying it with a foot switch is what I'm using because here's my hands and you can see I'm switching it. And that was the other thing with my box that I had made previously. I wanted to be able to use my foot switches. Um, now, actually what I'm using, now this is an AM, uh, it's FM also, isn't it? Yeah, this is an AM, FM. It does not have sideband. But you know, here's that little two-tone generator I had made in another video. It can be used for AM. You don't need two tones for AM, but just to show that you know it works. So you know there it is. It's hooked up to my this little coax right here goes in there, and then the audio out of that box goes into the microphone switcher. And then there, as you can see on the oscilloscope over there, there's the actual transmitted signal. But, yeah, like I said, I thought I'd show that because, man, it's, <laughs> that little guy right there has just, yeah, I made this box, and like I say, it worked. It just still was kind of clunky because, oh, man, I'd like to use the microphone hooked up to it. You know, I've got a shove down back over there. There's a uh, an equalizer as well that I run these microphones through. Um, and, you know, if I wanted to run one of my bench radios that's actually hooked up to an antenna, well, yeah, then I had to unplug stuff and plug stuff in. And, yeah, I was stringing wires back and forth and plugging and unplugging shit. And, yeah, just an absolute nightmare. Now it's just a matter of pick a mic or an audio source, pick what radio I want to use, and I'm good to go. I use a foot switch, and, you know, it's just, man, made my life so much easier. So, you know, if you ever happen to see one of those... Um, Preferably, if I see it, we don't both see it at the same time. Because, like I say, I'm almost to the point where, having used that one now, I'd pay any price. It's worth it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if um, if you run across one of those at a ham fest, you know, ham, ham flea market, man, if you've got more than one radio, um, that's the way to go. I mean, it, it is the ultimate system for setting up 
uh, you know, a multiple radio with multiple microphones and or different audio sources. Um, you know, it allows you to use one microphone with many radios or many many microphones with one radio in you know either direction. Uh, like I say, switches received audio has provisions for CW key. Also has a headphone jack. Um, you know, it just man, just it does so many things in such a small box. So there you go. There's just a quick video on some updates to my bench.